Sir Paul McCartney looked like he needed some billy shears on Wednesday after revealing his increasingly long hair during an appearance in London. The legendary member of the Beatles walked out of an office building in his customary buoyant mood, his nearly shoulder-length hair tied back in a tidy bun. For some reason, 81-year-old Sir Paul decided to skip the neighborhood barbershop and hop into a waiting car instead. The barber may have been preoccupied with exhibiting pictures of every head he's ever had the pleasure of knowing. After seeing a $50 million increase to $1 billion this year, Sir Paul became the first British artist to become a billionaire, as reported in the 2024 Sunday Times Rich List. He was originally valued at $865 million in 2022 and $950 million in 2023, making him the wealthiest musician in both years. This new achievement comes after his highly successful 2023 Got Pass tour, a boost in the value of his past library, and the collaboration with R&B artist Beyonce on her newest album, where she sang his song Blackbird, first released by the Beatles in 1968. The Sunday Times Music Rich List ranks Sir Mick Jagger at $415 million and Andrew Lloyd Webber at $515 million. The Beatles' 11 studio albums, produced between 1963 and 1970, continue to make them the best-selling musical act of all time, even though they separated amicably over 50 years ago. With the addition of 21 tracks, the two Beatles compilations, the Red and Blue albums, were re-released last year. In 2023, the band's new single, Now and Then, was released as the last single by the Liverpool-formed Beatles. It was composed and recorded by John Lennon as a rough recording in the late 1970s and then refined by the other band members, notably George Harrison, with a little assistance from artificial intelligence. It eventually achieved number one on the UK charts. In 2022, Sir Paul also headlined Glastonbury's Pyramid Stage, and his Got Back tour in 2023 was estimated to have made $105 million, 84.6 million, from just 16 concerts, 